Hey, good morning, everyone. Jesse here, hot off the wheels. It's gonna be a nice, beautiful day today. We're gonna head into uh, Target. It's about 8.30. Uh, generally, this Target's not one of those that has something right at 8, 8 o'clock at a punt opening. Those are your typical, like, larger uh, super targets and things, but uh, about 8.30, 9 o'clock, they start rolling some stuff out, usually for toys, so we're gonna head in and see what we can find. So hopefully you're all having some pretty good luck or success in finding die cast. Whether it's, you know, car culture two packs or, uh, you know, chase pieces like White Lightning, Zotto World, Ultra Reds, you know, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. We got a ton of the Jurassic Parks. Oh, dang, they got some new. Looks like some new uh, matchbox in, maybe. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Didn't see any new collectors. Looking for the new collector set. Haven't seen that. I got a ton of muscle machines. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing any chases, but some sweet ones. If you're into muscle machines, definitely be uh, checking them out. Again, they've got uh, a good bit of stuff here. Yeah, you get the, I guess, the Camaros or Mustangs and whatnot. Yeah, we got all kind of, I think, a little uh, Dodge there. So, a ton of muscle machines. So, definitely, um, plenty of cars. What is that one? Okay, a little Buick. Nice. Plenty of muscle machines to go around. A few matchbox, but nothing. I don't think it's the newest, newest that I'm aware of. But, uh. Yeah, I don't think it's the newest release that I'm aware of. But I could be wrong. <clears throat> uh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Dang. Alright, yeah. We got some new ones here. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a new of that. Even if that is carryover, I don't care. It's pretty cool. Grab a few of those. Yeah, I don't see any any chases or nothing like that. Um, yeah, that might be just new color. A little police cruiser. I might grab it. Um, that's new as well. A couple of new ones. I don't think we're gonna see a chase. That I'm aware of. But yeah, definitely some nice, uh, even little crazy ones like that. Pretty wild. I know my brother-in-law will like it, so I'll probably get it for him. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read half of these, but ooh, nice. Check out the little wagon. A little Mercedes. trucks. I'll check those out in a little bit. But bang, check it out guys. It is the new car culture to um car culture team transports. Looks like they got an entire set here. So I think mm -hmm. yeah they got the whole thing. And of course we got the lancha right there. So yeah, there you go, you got the whole thing. Bam, this target's pretty stocked right now. They even got the latest uh, release of the two packs. You got the Knight Riders, little kit, and then the car casting. 
the Nissan Fairlady Z, the Proto, your Lancia, and your Audi. So definitely hit up your targets for for those two packs, new transports, all that good stuff. Um, they even got some Jurassic. Oh dang! Holy mackerel! Oh dang! Wow! Check this out. I did not see that earlier. I gotta get me a cart. Check it out, guys. Dang. Holy mackerel. Be right back, guys. Alright, so check it out. Check it out. Number four the Bugatti. Dang. That's sweet. Here's the back with UPC if that helps anybody. There's your complete set. <clears throat> Dang. Holy mackerel. One Alfa Romeo. Number three is that Conaseg Majera. I think it is. Again, I don't have my glasses, so bear with me, guys. <coughs> the Lamborghini right there, number five. Uh, let's see, we'll put that back in a minute. Things are falling off here. Lamborghini. And number two right there, the McLaren. So you got the Alfa Romeo, the McLaren, Speedtail. Number three is that Conaseg right there. Sweet, sweet. Number four, the Bugatti. Number five, the Lamborghini. Heck yeah. I want to go through and make sure. Let's see if there's any. Uh, Chase than any of these. I don't remember if there is or not, but. but yeah, definitely let us know your thoughts, guys. Um, they did have some MKs, but it's already hit up. Um, there's nothing really here, mostly just fantasy stuff. A couple of carryovers, I'm pretty sure some of these are carryovers. But uh, nothing here is substantial, but definitely got the newest exotics. That's pretty sweet. Didn't think I'd be finding those already. So check it out. Pretty well stocked. We got uh, car culture two packs, team transports, uh, Jurassic Parks if that's your thing, or Jurassic World. Uh, I'm gonna leave those. Uh, I've got, you know, these are of course in the wrong spot, but uh, they're like two, two something, so we'll leave those behind. Have not seen the newest Nightburners five pack. Still waiting to see the new Nightburners five pack. Haven't seen that, but uh, definitely excited to see this set. So let me know your thoughts on those guys. Hope you're having some good success and luck out there. I uh, didn't see anything for Johnny Lightning's or Auto Worlds down there. Pretty well hit up or empty. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, this set right here and uh, probably post them up on my local group so anybody else looking uh, is aware they're here. So take care guys, stay safe, happy hunting. Hey, good morning, Jesse here, Hot Wheels. It is Sunday, I think the 4th of September. We're already in September. Happy September to each and every one of you. Hope you're having some great luck and success out there in the stores. Hopefully better than I am. I've had the worst luck in the past few months and it's just ridiculous. Anyways, we're at Target. We're gonna do a little die ass hunting. It's about 9 a.m. I don't know, some of you may be thinking, oh man, you're too late. You didn't hit it right at 8 o'clock. This is not one of those targets that you know, generally has stock, like fresh stock put out early mornings or, you know, before closing. This is one of those that they'll bring out a, a buggy or cart probably around um, anywhere from nine to, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning typically. I found usually the sweet spots around 10. So we're a little bit early, but uh, I've got a lot of tarts to hit up because there's a little bit of a pattern or wave going on. I've noticed a lot of targets are showing me they're supposed to be getting stuff in around the uh, fourth or fifth, which is today or tomorrow on Labor Day. So that's what we're hoping, hoping to hit it right and uh, maybe find some of the new stuff like the Hot Wheels Premiums or Matchbox Collectors. If you're into Matchbox Collectors like I am, I'm looking for that new 
VW Moon Eyes. I think it's a drag beetle. <clears throat> so, I don't know if they have a card out yet. Maybe a little bit early. Now, I'm a little bit happy about this store because the store did have a collector working it. Now, I think there's still one working, but he didn't work it all the time. But, uh, wow. This looks like a hurricane hit the place thing. <clears throat> wow, that's just uh, sad. I'll try to do my part to help clean up, especially if I'm gonna wait around it. So I think they might try bring a, uh, a cart or something out soon. But I'll see what I can do, but look at this, this apartment's a mess. Wow, <laughs> huge mess. You got some of the new transports, but there's a newer release than that that I'm looking for. Uh, the only matchbox collectors they have are these peg warmers right here. Same peg warmers they've had for a while. Outside of that, there's not a whole lot. They've got a ton of muscle machines, but any chases are long gone. Don't see any uh, green lights for a larger scale or the normal ones other than these peg warmers. They've been sitting here for, for months as well. Little John Wick taxis, the Ace of Truth police car, whatever. Yeah, it's been sitting there for, a, for as long as I can remember. We'll check the uh, bin. Pretty sure the bin is probably about as empty as uh, the pegs. Oh, dang, I take it back. Holy mackerel, I take that back. Dang. Check it out. Dang, okay, I take that back. Holy cow, look at all these renditions, guys. Holy mackerel, I should've just came right here first. Dang, check this out. Holy mackerel. Dang, we got two bins slap full. We got a lot to go through before another collector comes in here. I'm just gonna start snagging some stuff up. I'll figure out what I wanna keep. There's a treasure hunt right there. Dang, check that out. Holy cow. Dang, they got some renditions. Heck yeah, it looks like it is. K case, which would be the the skyline if I'm not mistaken. Dang, holy mackerel. This is uh, insane. So we're gonna have to start to stack some more up here. I just don't know which one to go through first. Go with a more like slam full of hot wheels. The question is, is there a super I found the seen the treasure hunt already? And of course, you saw the uh, skyline right there. Holy mackerel. I'm gonna put that in the buggy for the time being here in my little hand basket. But yeah, you can tell this is pretty freshly laid in. Holy cow. I'm pretty sure that is. And of course, they'd all fall over. And that's just the carryover. Yeah, that is JK. So, so there could be some JKs up in here as well. Dang, check out that. Check that out, guys. That's insane. I'll let you know what I find. I'm gonna go through it real quick before another collector comes up in here. All right, guys, so I've finished going through the bottom bin right there. As you can see my stacks, I'm gonna throw all that back on top uh, when I get done. Um, probably put that stack up in here. I've gotta go through this one, but I've kind of, I was going through it pretty nice and neatly, stacking them all up nice. Um, but at some point, you just gotta kind of go through things uh, in a quick fashion. I know there's gonna be another collector. I'm honestly surprised another collector has not walked up on me yet. Seriously, I mean, there's, there's as much as the store gets hit up by people. I know there's gotta be another collector hitting this store pretty soon. But uh, I did save up some of the nicer castings. I figured you might uh, be looking for out of either J or K case because some of this is probably just carryovers. But uh, definitely some nice castings. If you're into these and hit up your targets or walmart's wherever you find your newest cases or j or k case uh, i did find two of the mustangs but of course they're duds um and i found a couple of the the skylines um but there's the, of course the red edition there we got the porsche or not the porsche yeah the porsche and then the uh automobile um whatever it is i can't remember i can't think of it right now i got too much to go through See, I'm just gonna start going through it. Come on, come on. Dang it, another Dudski. 
This is J. No, it's K, so that was just carryover, anyways. But yeah, another little potential super, but that was just the carryover from from the uh, K case. So we're just gonna start chunking it down here. Again, some nice. So you got the Porsche 911 GT3 right there in that blue. We've got the Mazda RX-7. Sweet. And you can tell some of this is kind of freshly laid in, or at least when I first started going through it, there were stacks of three, which is pretty indicative of, you know, uh, the, the the box or case just being kind of pull, poured out, you know. But uh, I don't see anything in that hand. So just throw this on top. You can see how some of them are kind of like said, freshly laid in there. Got that Mustang, the two by two or whatever, and fast pack. Definitely nice. Kind of just kind of taking up some cars. And... But yeah, I can't believe I got some some red editions. That's freaking awesome. Pretty freaking sweet. I know a lot of you are looking, still looking for that one. I got the Audi, I think it is. Yep. The McLaren, I think. Yeah, well, that's a pretty nice little recolor, or not that one, but yeah, it's a little, I think, custom. Uh, our Pontiac Firebird. I thought it was a custom Firebird, but yeah, Pontiac Firebird, custom. I guess uh, Legends Edition. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. This may have been, uh, I don't know, potentially hit up yesterday, if they, but as full as they were, I don't know, maybe it was, maybe it was put out last, yesterday, but I don't think the red edition would still be here, like this one right here, the, I mean, the Automobili Panafarina Batista, again, I don't have my glasses with me, so I'm a little bit on the blind side and reading, reading things, but definitely sweet, can't believe I found some red editions. Corvette right there, and then I showed you that one earlier. I've already got all J and K case, so I'm really just looking for, you know, treasure hunt supers, red editions, things like that. And of course, you got the uh, Camaro and that recolor. So hopefully, you're able to get out to your store and find them, whether you're looking for the GTO or Pontiac Firebird or any of these other castings, maybe the Dodge Charger in that EMS, uh, you know, library or skin, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, another, oh dang, now that's an older red edition, I'm pretty sure. Or no, maybe this is part of that, the red edition, yeah. We just hadn't found that one yet, I guess. Interesting. Yeah, we hadn't found uh, many of those, so I wonder if, uh, Somebody plugged some of those in the back, or maybe they're further down here. I think I see another one right here, I think. Yep, another red edition. They're a little bit a little bit wavy or bent, but a red edition is a red edition, right? Can't can't be uh, too picky when you have found anything lately. Like I have had the worst luck lately, guys. So truly I've had some terrible luck lately. So it's nice to finally come across some things that uh, I'm looking for. Finally. I just wish it would pan out for like a super because I have not found one since F case. You know how far back I am. I am like really far off. Really far back on F case. Um, my knees are starting to kill me. I have to stand up. Yeah, the targets seem to be getting a wave. I missed the missed the wave with the G case at Walmart's unfortunately. But, um, some wild looking fantasy cars. I like the armadillo. <laughs> that make any sense to me, but maybe it's a, a Disney Buzz Lightyear thing. But yep.
Some guys playing a little dinosaur there if you heard that. Alright. Well, I don't think we're gonna find a super at this point because well, again I've already found like two I think of the skylines and uh two at least of the J case, which is probably I mean, about I don't know how many cases exactly were put out, two or three. And they could have very well been cracked in the back because I do know there's a collector that works this store. So you could have potentially hit it up before they came out. I just don't know. For some reason, though, he doesn't, he doesn't seem to go after the red editions, or he just doesn't know what red editions are. Or, I'm not sure, but I've had decent luck in finding red editions, but as far as finding the super out of the store, I'm not. I'm not on the super out of the store in quite a long time. A lot of collectors hit it up, so I'm not saying it's you know, necessarily an inside job, but when there's red editions and treasure hunts and everything like that, if you're El Camino, um, you know, more than likely I'm the first person to this. Again, with all the red editions that were left and all the treasure hunts. And granted, some people leave treasure hunts behind, but um, I think it's a pretty decent treasure hunt. Little truck, where did I put it? Yeah, the little Toyota. Pretty decent little treasure hunt. I think a lot of people would still grab one up. I don't know, maybe some people leave them behind. Like, if I come across another, I'll leave it behind. Like, I'll probably actually leave that one behind because I know I've got at least two or three at home and I've left plenty of that one behind on other hunts, so I'll probably leave it behind as well. But, uh, yeah, well, no more. Um, looks like all the red editions, all the treasure hunts, so I'll clean up my mess now and throw all this up top. So give me a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, there, you, there you have it. I uh, left it no, no worse than I found it. It was actually, um, cars were all everywhere. So I've, I didn't organize like I typically do, you know, stacking and everything, but I've got to get to some other uh, targets. While the getting's good. So with that being said, um, I did score a couple of sets of the red editions. I didn't get a ton. Uh, I think I found two of the white Porsches uh, two of the Subarus, yeah, I think two of each, um, maybe a third of the Porsche, I can't remember, I have to look at my, my little hand basket there, but <clears throat> I did end up finding, you know, two of these, uh, Skylines were up top, I don't think I put them there, but, uh, two of them were up top, and two of them were the ones I found in the bin, all dud skis, as well as the J Case Porsche, or J Case Mustang, so, I think it's just dud, dead cases with the uh, treasure hunt right there um and it's hard for me to pass up the treasure hunt so i might grab it and give it away to i try to keep some treasure hunts in my uh, in my car to to give away to other collectors or kids i come across that haven't really had luck lately like i haven't <laughs> with super so but i'll let you know what i find but uh that's pretty sweet right there so let me know your thoughts of course i um, thought i was gonna have a little bit more excitement with finding a super potentially but it was just another dud dud uh dud hunt for supers but pretty cool for for at least going through some odd wheels so that's pretty awesome all right guys let's hit up the hobble aisle and see if there's i don't think there's anything yet anything i missed uh, yeah, i don't think they put anything out here i think it's pretty much all dumped in the dump bin why they wouldn't fill the pegs I don't know, but that's for them to figure out. Family, back at the good old home front. Real quick, I know the video's gone long enough with the double action pack peg hunt. Uh, with that being said, I want to show you a couple of things you can be on the lookout for that I didn't show you. Uh, I won't spend too much time on it. I'm not going to show you every single thing because I would be here for a while. Uh, there's a lot of things that I have found that um, I just don't have in front of me right now to show you. Like the newest Honda set at three bucks a pop, mind you. Uh, newest Honda set. Muscle machines, I sorry, not muscle machines, but the M2 machines right here. Little Moon Eye square body. I haven't found the chase. I would love to find the chase because I'm a M2 and uh, I'm an M2 collector, of course, but I'm a square body and Moon Eyes fanatic. So uh, those are right up my alley if I can find the chase. Um, that. The newest team transports that I've seen in my area. Um, of course, missing the third, which is, I believe, the Plymouth Cooter right there. You can see on the back. Uh, somebody, I guess, was a muscle uh, fanatic and grabbed that up but left the other two for me. So, hey. 
I appreciate that. I won't uh, look a gift horse in the mouth. That's pretty sweet. Uh, and hopefully you're finding some good luck again. Even if it's something as simple as a five pack like the Mustang five pack or the Nightburners five pack right there. Hopefully you're able to find one or both of those if you're looking. And if you uh, are looking but you're not finding much out there, that's where I got your back. I'm going to be posting up some random giveaways on Instagram. So hopefully you're following me on Instagram. Links are in the description. Same name, Hot Off The Wheels. You can find me there. I'll be posting some random giveaways. It may be something as simple as, again, one of the newer <clears throat> team transports. If I find some more, I haven't, this is the only ones I've found of those so far. But if I find some additionals, you know I've got your back. I'll be posting up some of that. Maybe something uh, like one of these. I do have some, I think, uh, one or two extras of that. So maybe posting it up, that random giveaway there. Maybe something like that. Matchbox 5-pack, Dauterburn, 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 or the um, Coffee Cruisers. I believe both are a third release or third uh, wave or whatever of that. I know some of those repeat castings in these five packs. Uh, I do kind of wish they'd get away from uh, reusing the same castings over and over again. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Maybe giving away like, you know, one of these Auto World two or four packs for the Target exclusive. Um, no chases. Unfortunately, I haven't found a chase. I'm not that fortunate or lucky. But uh, again, maybe something like a Honda set. So I've got a lot of things to give away on on Instagram. I'll be doing some small giveaways. It won't be anything substantial. It won't be like a ton of stuff at one point. It's just going to be like something simple. And maybe like a five pack here, you know, a car culture two pack there, something like that. Um, again, my, my intention is really just to help people out who, who aren't having much luck. I'm not here to, to give you additional duplicates and all that. I mean, yeah, it's, I can't stop you from entering if that's what you're, you know, if that's what you want to do. But I would highly encourage you guys, if you've already found something I'm giving away, you know, save it for the next collector who really needs it or wants it. Um, again, unless you're going to give it to like a friend or, or something that you know that needs it, I uh, would, would encourage you. And that's all I can do is encourage you to uh, pass it forward and, you know, show some kindness and love to the next collector. Um, so with that being said, guys, I think I've shown you pretty much everything I wanted to show you. And maybe something like uh, Walgreens exclusives I give away or... Uh, some target red editions so with that being said hit me up on instagram hot off the wheels i will start doing some giveaways very soon as well as we're gonna be posting i'll be posting up another giveaway um after the next peg hunt probably i'll put on the uh, tail end of the next peg hunt for the 6k giveaway more of a, a momentous uh, milestone here on this platform on youtube Six thousand followers wow that's a crazy now we're not there yet of course i'm not gonna uh, count my eggs before they hatch, but I uh, definitely appreciate each and every one of you who have followed from the very first to the most recent, even those who uh, are watching right now and you haven't hit that red button, but you're going to, go ahead and do it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, guys, I'm not going to beg you, honestly. Like I said, if you enjoy the content, you enjoy, you know, Hot Wheels and diecast pet hunts and stuff like that, I would encourage you to, but I, I'm not here to beg you. Um, uh, you can probably ask many of the people who've been following me from the, from the start or from the near beginning. I hardly ever ask you to, you know, oh man, hit that like button, hit that follow button, man, hit that notification bell. I mean, that's all good. Definitely do so, so you don't miss any future videos. But uh, again, I'm not here trying to chase clout, trying to uh, <clears throat> necessarily do this just for attention. I'm here just to hopefully encourage and inspire you to hit up your stores. Um, that way you can find what I'm looking and what I'm finding. That, that way you can hopefully have better luck than I'm even having. Um, truly, that's all I'm here to do is encourage you. Yes, I, I am monetized with my videos, but um, I can promise you I'm not making any living off of YouTube. Um, you know, unless you're making millions of views on each video, um, you can ask any of the diecast YouTubers. Uh, it's minuscule what you make on YouTube um, just from monetizing videos. Uh, it really just kind of puts a little gas in your tank to hit up the next door to show you what we're finding. That's about it, guys. Just being truthful with you. But anyways, I've talked long enough. Thank y'all so much. Much love. See you in the next peg hunt where I'll be posting up the 6K giveaway. Till then, guys, take care of yourself, truly.